Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we get self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Bottom of the deck, we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Let's also pull some cards from this oracle deck. intuition and downloads bottom of the deck we have clear cancel and release let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies And we are ready. So, your energies, guys. The Hierophant. Wheel of Fortune. Two of Swords. Your person's energies. Three of Swords. Ace of Swords. Death card. Meeting energies. Page of Cups. Ace of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. The Focus. King of Wands. And the full bottom of the deck, brand new beginning, brand new chapter, a leap of faith. This can be a, an auspicious opportunity for those of you single, absolutely. I was considering even the scenario about a potential chance to be together again with a former partner because the page of cups can also be an apology especially paired up with the knight of pentacles for me because these are lovely energies um, trustworthy We are going to see. Um, bottom of the full, we have the Five of Pentacles, which can be an energy about feeling left out in the cold, lacking communication. So, um, if there was a disappointment between two partners, the Three of Swords is the heartache, for example. The Two of Swords can be the closed off approach, kind of reluctant to uh, open up but the ace of swords can bring clarity and truth the death card which is a scorpio energy by the way can be the willingness coming from this person to change everything in favor of a situation sweeping away leftovers from the past so that we can uh, start fresh the wheel of fortune can be a lucky break in order to fulfill the desire for solid foundations in favor of a partnership, for example, the clear cancel and release can be about that. We release the disappointments. We heal a connection, basically. Um, taking action is key. The Ace of Wands can be a spark of desire and passion between two persons that are special and important for each other page of cups sweet act of kindness and love it can be an apology the knight of pentacles a touch of patience because the knight is the slowest of the four in the deck so this can be the first scenario uh, the second one is about some of you single 
with the desire to pursue a love connection that can allow you guys to manifest the Hierophant energy, which is a very spiritual major arcana, but also an extremely practical one, because um, two pillars, solid grounds, making the best out of the lessons of the journey, for me also choices, uh, how can we manifest a goal in a way that can stand the test of time, in a way that is reliable and grounded. The Wheel of Fortune can be about life cycles and life chapters. We know that just like the word, also the wheel um, offers in our favor lessons. This can be divine timing, fate and destiny. The encounter with this person can be a fated one. Some of you may be cautious with the Two of Swords. There is the moon in the background after all. Um, an encouragement to pay attention. It can be a fear factor, shadow work also. The lady is blindfolded. She is trying to get in touch with her intuition and she will have to make a choice. This person may have gone through challenges in their journey, Three of Swords. I will not try to sugarcoat the energy. Challenging, absolutely. Uh, overwhelming even, a disappointment, heartbreaks, heartaches, regrets, sadness. Uh, something that didn't go according to expectations. Uh, clarity with the Ace of Swords. This person may have realized um, what they want to achieve in their journey. The Death card for them can be a revolution, yes, but it can also be an inner process, death and rebirth process. One of the most powerful events that can take place in our journey. It's a shift in perspective. It's the opportunity for a person to turn on the light starting to see things in a completely different way compared with um, the ones of the past, for example. The meeting of the energies can be a sweet interaction between the two of you, there can be passion, an interest, a spark of desire, some type of perception that the connection can be promising. The King of Wands is ready to jump off the throne, but the time factor is meaningful because the two of you may desire to avoid to rush a connection, Knight of Pentacles, trying to figure out properly all the, um, all the factors involved, uh, if the situation is truly the one that you were looking for, because the Knight of Pentacles um, as reliable, honest, and sincere as it can be, holds the Ace of Pentacles, which is a cornerstone, so that we can build for the future. No shaky grounds, uh, absolutely. We are looking for something stable. So, uh, let's find out a little bit more, guys. Let's see for you. The Hierophant. Seven of Swords. So if you were together, there was uh, a disappointment involved. It can even be a committed partnership. The Seven of Swords is um, an energy that for me is about behaviors that are not aimed at, at the best possible outcome. Lies, betrayals, deceits. I am sure that you know the drill. So if something has happened, or if something happened, um, there is truly the necessity to embrace the clear, cancel and release in order to evaluate if we can embrace a new beginning within the connection. Let's see the Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, an evaluation, juggling act, uh, time factor also involved in the Two of Pentacles. A lot of attention is due. By the way, um, scenario that can be about some of you single, uh, the Seven of Swords is a different vibration compared with the Hierophant. So looking for a partnership that can allow you to go the distance, refusing at the 100% interactions that can be um, not clear, not uh, blessed with trust and honesty, for example, sneaky behaviors, not interested. Let's see for your person, 
the three of swords this one the moon so this can be if you were together something was not clear makes sense considering the seven of swords and the moon is an energy about the unknown something that is different from how it seems there can be a facade it can be sometimes an energy about lies um, or things that are not shared things that are not said and there is the necessity to come clean with the ace of swords in order to change the landscape of the situation second scenario the two of you single this person has gone through difficult times when it comes to love connections they have uh, accepted to dive deeper into the understanding of what were the reasons at the core of the disappointments and they got their clarity they got their clarity with the ace of swords let's see the death card and then let's go for the meeting hermit they got their clarity so in the two scenarios this person can offer um, a major token that can make the difference a lot of wisdom with the hermit the willingness to embrace a moment of solitude in order to um, discover answers that can be extremely important intuition and downloads also involved on an energy level let's see guys the uh, knight of pentacles at this point because it holds the ace of pentacles two of swords once again so it's meaningful because some of you will have to make a decision about a second attempt a second chance with a former partner allow me to say or a major choice about uh, an offer a passionate one that is related to a new connection word major arcana bottom of the smaller deck we have mentioned the word speaking about the wheel of fortune completion coming full circle we have the full from the word to the full there can be potential guys in favor of the two scenarios uh, to be honest it's a choice it's a big one uh, it can be a little bit more challenging in the scenario that is about um, a second chance allow me to say because maybe the seven of swords was a source of disappointment and the five of pentacles that we have seen was justified by some behaviors but still the energies are offering uh, something that is deserving of attention and when it comes to the uh, opportunity uh, for two single persons to interact with each other there can be potential in favor of the chance to be together so guys some more oracle cards for guidance considering these energies let's close this reading ask your angels intuition and downloads uh, trusting our intuition the two of swords lady for sure but also the hermit for this person you are ready it can be about the moment of truth the choice the decision let's be together kind of releasing the source of disappointments that we have experienced when it comes to the former partner and let's be together because we were looking for the same thing the same type of partnership uh, without mind games for the scenario that is about uh, some of you single and uh, a single uh, person of interest abundance well quite encouraging it can be it can be about uh, a desire to build for the future in a, a reliable and stable way communicate clearly bottom of the deck goes along with the ace of swords the hermit a lot of wisdom a lot of attention clarity truth uh, you are willing to embrace the conversation that can allow you guys to clear the air with a former partner or understand precisely if 
a new person can be the one that you were looking for. But after all, the Paradise Oracle card um, speaks about happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So um, it can be truly an encouragement. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.